what's up you guys welcome back to my channel um if you're new here or if you've never come across my channel my name is Nakwaya and I am makeup obsessed now I know I've been away from like YouTube for a minute I've just been so busy with life but I'm back and I'm back with a bit of a bang I will be reviewing the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette which looks like this um, so this palette has 14 eyeshadows um, so it has matte eyeshadows and then what they call pressed pigments um, I'm gonna open it up for you guys and just show you what it looks like so this is what the colors in the palette look like so it's got like all mattes at the bottom and then shimmers and metallic colors at the top um, this um, I'll list or I'll just leave a link to the palette down below but basically this is a very summery vacation um, eyeshadow palette and combination and which makes sense because the northern hemisphere they're about to go into summer right now but I could not resist buying this I thought that this was so beautiful and like the way all the colors were put together is just so pretty um, so okay guys so my light is um, acting up so I'm just gonna apologize right now for the lighting I don't know what's wrong so I'm just gonna try and film with as much natural natural light as I can maybe I'll fix the the ring light in a little bit I don't know but yeah so what I'm gonna first show you guys is the um, first swatch so these are all the the what do you call them the metallic and shimmer shades so starting on this side we have yeah sorry starting on this side it's not very visible but there's this shade I don't know if it's coming off properly on camera it's actually a white shade called sales then this is like a metallic brown called yacht and then a turquoise bluish Seychelles then this um, I want to say it's like a cranberry shimmery color called Palermo and then we have this I want to say it's like a silver gray shimmer that's called seaside and then we have this bright um, what is this color it's not yellow it's like a yellowish mustard color called inheritance and then they have this um, like a periwinkle I think that's the color it's like a blue color called Mediterranean and then on this side we have all the matte shades so um, over here we have this like very rich brown called palm and then we have this intense purple it's called Ken and then we have this light pink or like it's like a salmon color called Monte Carlo then we have this really really hot pink called Bahamas and then we have this color here called coastline it's a really 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 light um, orange brown shade and then next to it is a very like mustard vibe color called Cabana and then Estate um, those last three colors don't show up very much on my on my chocolate skin so yeah but the rest the, the rest are okay I suppose they do show up well um, I will have to say from the jump um, that just swatching these colors they especially the mattes um, they the mattes feel very chalky like and for me I always feel like <sighs> Juvia's Place has kind of set the standard for me when it comes to shades and pigmentation and especially when it comes to matte eyeshadows because Juvia, Juvia's Place has a lot of matte pigmented eyeshadows and they're not at all chalky and I don't like that chalky vibe honestly it's not cute it's not sexy I don't even know like what the problem is but yeah those were the the matte shades and I will say it was particularly Estate Cabana and Coastline that were quite chalky the others the pigmentation was fine um, so yeah um, okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my eyes and then we'll be talking while I'm doing it okay guys so I managed to mess with my camera settings a bit and kind of fix the lighting for now okay guys, so I'm gonna start with my eyes I'm gonna pick up one of my brushes and I'm gonna dab into the shade coastline which was actually I'm gonna dab into the shade Mont actually I'm not dabbing into anything 
I am going to first prime my eyes because I have not done that. As you guys can see, I've done the rest of my face, all my makeup's done, but my eyes are not done. Um, so I'm going to first prime my eyes real quick and then I'm going to dab into Monte Carlo. Okay guys, so I have primed my eyes and I also went ahead and just um, applied some powder underneath my eyes just to catch any fallout because we all know Anastasia does not have the best record when it comes to kickback from their eyeshadow palettes so yeah I'm, 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 I'm being safe okay so I'm gonna dip into the shade Monte Carlo which is that salmon color and I'm gonna apply that like um, as my transition color okay next up I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna pick up my Sigma E38 brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Bahamas I think yeah Bahamas which is that shocking pink one and I'm just gonna apply it directly into my crease okay guys next up I'm gonna take um this is a flat brush from color it's the 312 shading brush and uh, no I don't want to use that brush. I actually want to use, should I use? Yeah, no, I'm going to use the 312 shading brush from Kala. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the shade Can, which is that bright purple color. And I'm just going to apply it on the outer corner. I'm just going to pack it there. Then I'm going to take my another Morphe. Whoa! Child. I'm going to take another Morphe M504 brush and I'm going to just um, blend that out a little bit. But I'm just going to keep it tightly in the corner, yeah? Because I'm just using that purple to kind of like um, define the outer corner a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, next up, I feel like I'm going to cut my crease. Yeah. And then I'm going to set that. I'm going to grab um, just any old flat brush that's clean. And I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier powder. Um, yeah. Right. So now we've got that clean... Um, what do you want to call it? Clean um, uh, lid, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the shade Bahamas with an even smaller crease brush. This is the Morphe M514. It's a much smaller crease brush and I'm just going to diffuse that top line in the crease there. Once that is done, you guys, I'm going to pick up now a flat brush this is the Sigma E57 and I'm going to go into the shade Estate which is like a very like it's like a peach color very light okay guys so that's what the eyes are looking like for now um, I'm going to quickly do my eyeliner okay and then I'll be right back okay guys now I'm going to quickly apply some mascara <music> Okay guys, so now that my mascara is applied, I feel like I haven't played in any of the shimmer colors. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab one of my brushes, which one I'm thinking, no this is too thick. Okay, I'm going to grab this small smudge brush from Sigma and I'm going to go into that shade Seychelles, which is that turquoise blue shimmery color and just apply it right underneath here okay guys so I'm quickly gonna go off camera because I've pretty much finished my eyes so I'm gonna go off camera um, apply my lashes and then I'll be right back okay right back with my final thoughts okay guys so my overall thoughts on this palette is one it's a nice palette it's a nice to have 
um, I don't like the fact that the matte shades, some of the matte shades look chalky on my skin tone. That's one thing. Um, I do like how all the shimmers feel. They're very nice and buttery. Um, they're, they're, there's nothing wrong with them. I think that if you're looking for a spring time um, fun color palette you should definitely get this otherwise you can definitely dig into your old palettes and just find these colors like I've seen them all before just never put together in this way so if you're trying to save your coin just dig into your old palettes I'm pretty sure you'll find something there that you can use um that being said I'll probably get this give this palette like a six and a half seven out of ten it's nothing wrong with it I just don't think it's necessary if you get what I mean um, that being said that is it for me and this video um, thank you guys so much for watching um, make sure you subscribe to my channel please leave me a link down below let me know what video uh, videos you think I should do over the coming weeks you know just to make sure you and I are on the same um, page that being said thank you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in my next video ciao